Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again. Today we're going to be in our verse by verse study through the Gospel of Luke. We're going to be covering Luke 1 verses 57 through 66. Get those Bibles open, we're going to read our passage of the day. When it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy, and they shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him after his father, Zechariah. But his mother spoke up and said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, There is no one among your relatives who has that name. Then they made signs to his father to find out what he would like to name the child. He asked for a writing tablet, and to everyone's astonishment, he wrote, His name is John. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue set free, and he began to speak, praising God. All the neighbors were filled with awe, and throughout the hill country of Judea, people were talking about these things. Everyone who heard this wondered about it, asking, What then is this child going to be? For the Lord's hand was with him. Right, so let's get to our fill in the blank. We're coming out of Luke 1, verse 66, and it says, Everyone who has heard this wondered about it, asking, what then is this child going to be? For the Lord's hand was with him. All right, today's application question is this. God came through on his promise to Zechariah to give him the ability to speak again. Why is it important that we can trust God? I think this is a question that all of us should ask ourselves, whether we are a believer or have not quite come to a believing faith, is why is the God of the Bible trustworthy? What has he shown himself um, over time? How has he shown himself over time to be trustworthy? Um, some people would go back as far as, um, let's look at the prophecies that he said would happen and how those were fulfilled. Let's look at X, Y, or Z situation that happened in this person's life, and that's how we know we can trust God. Um, it's important that we can trust the Bible because it's what we're supposed to base our very faith um, on. It's supposed to be what um, tells us how we're supposed to live, um, the way we're supposed to treat people, all of these things. So it's very important uh, that we can trust God. It's very important that we see characters in the Bible trusting God and God following through. And that is just a point of emphasis. God is always faithful and he always, 100% of the time, does what he says he's going to do. So if you haven't put your faith in Christ yet, then just know that if you do, and I encourage you to do so, that God is faithful and God will be with you in times of plenty and in times of need. Hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, we pray that you go out and love God and love others. Thanks.